Good morning. Here's our church calendar, a big circle of the whole church year that goes around and around. We had Pentecost that day in red, and today it's going to be the first, second, third Sunday after Pentecost. And it's green. A really nice green time when the church is growing. And we'll talk about it again next week. Good morning, it's time for the welcome song, starting with Virginia. Sing to Virginia, celebrate Virginia, see God's light in her. Sing to Hunter, celebrate Hunter, see God's light in him. Sing to Ariana, celebrate Ariana, see God's light in her. Sing to Una, celebrate Una, see God's light in her. Sing to you, celebrate you, see God's light in you. Sing to Kyler, celebrate Kyler, see God's light in him. Sing to all of us, celebrate all of us, see God's light in all of us. Sing to everyone, celebrate everyone, see God's light in everyone. Okay, we still have our gold parable box. What is the parable? It's a kind of a present. And it's wrapped in fancy gold paper. And we're not sure what's inside. Here's that lovely, lovely green. Yes. So many lovely green things are growing right now. Take a look. But along with the green, we have other colors. We have some dark colors. Hmm, maybe those are rocks or mountains or some kind of places that aren't quite comfortable to be in. And here is some lovely blue water. All right, oh look, what else is in this box? Some of you remember what this makes. It's a long strip of cloth. Yes, it could be a road. We talk about roads a lot with our stories. But these cloth pieces go across each other. In fact, we can build them up and build them up. What else might they Pieces of wood? Yes. They could be like sticks. They're pieces of cloth, but you could build something like this with sticks. In fact, if you build something like this with sticks, it might be like a corral, or a pen, or even a place we might call a sheepfold. What goes inside a sheepfold? You're right, sheep. And here we have lots of sheep. Oh, and look, I even found another piece. There we go, build it up even taller. Sheep feel very comfortable when they're inside their sheepfold. They know each other, they know the place, and they feel safe there. And who looks after the sheep? Anybody? The shepherd, you're right. The shepherd looks after the sheep. And the shepherd comes in the morning and opens up the sheepfold, whoops, and lets the sheep out and they wander out and they might go eat some grass. They might go find some water. They might go towards those kind of rocky places. Who knows, the shepherd's just letting them go where they want. But my goodness, these sheep are scattering all over the place. And what do you suppose, is there anything that's ever dangerous for sheep? It's a wolf. Wolves sometimes come after the sheep. And what does your ordinary shepherd do? The ordinary shepherd runs away. But who's our special shepherd that we talk about? You're right. Our special shepherd is the good shepherd. That's the shepherd that knows every sheep by its name. 
That's the shepherd that will take the sheep away from the rocky places and keep them all close together where they know his name, he knows their name, and they are all safe. He puts himself in between the wolf and the sheep to keep them safe. He will even give himself to protect his sheep. Who is our good shepherd? Do you remember? We have a good shepherd in his name. Yeah. His name is Jesus. He is the good shepherd who knows every one of us and looks after us and makes sure that we come back home inside the sheepfold where he knows us, he knows our names, we know him, and we all are safe. And that's our story for this week. Okay, let's see. What should we, should we put the wolf away first? Yes, bye bye wolf. Already put the ordinary shepherd away. How about the rocky places? We're going to have this story again next week, but we won't have the rocky places. We won't have the good water. We'll have a whole different vision of this. Okay, the good shepherd's gonna come, let all the sheep out of the corral. We can put the corral away and we'll put the sheep away. And when all the sheep are safely put away, then we'll put the good shepherd away after the sheep are taken care of, all right? Excellent. I wonder if those sheep had names. You all have names. Think about what maybe the shepherd would call the sheep. I think we're ready for our penny box. Let's see. We have a penny box here. Tyler has a penny. You brought a penny. Una has a penny. Ariana has a penny. Hunter has a penny, and Virginia has a penny. So we've put all our pennies in the penny box, and we can fold our hands and say our prayers. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. And this week you're going to have some little sheep to put together. 